In this video, I want to introduce Legendre polynomials. And there are a lot of different ways to introduce Legendre polynomials. A lot of you, if you're seeing this for the first time in the course, you'll see Legendre polynomials show up uh, from a differential equation. So Legendre polynomials have an important differential equation they satisfy, uh, which is where a lot of people first see them. Uh, another way is through the generating function. So if you, if you take the Taylor series with the Legendre polynomials as the coefficients, you get an important function which comes up in E and M a lot. Um, and th those are all great ways to introduce Legendre polynomials, and I'll be looking at those, uh, those ways in later videos. Uh, but in this video, I want to introduce Legendre polynomials uh, in the way that I think uh, is the nicest to think about them, and that is as this. Uh, the nth Legendre polynomial, p sub n of x, is equal to, we have some normalizing factor to an n factorial, and then, and then the good stuff, the nth derivative of x squared minus 1 to the n. So, so this right here is, is a definition of Legendre polynomials in terms of this, this nth derivative of this function right here. And before we go through and actually calculate a few of these, it's, it's good to take a second and think about just qualitatively what's going on here. So we can, we can rewrite this term right here, uh, this term right here, in a way which maybe gives us a little more intuition. We can just factor it. And when we factor it, what do we get? We get x minus 1, x plus 1 to the n. Or, 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 or if you like, uh, both of these guys to the n. So what, what is this telling us right here? I mean, this is saying that this, this function right here that we're taking the derivative of uh, is the function that has a 0 at plus 1 and minus 1. So that's, that's already telling us that uh, plus 1 and minus 1 are sort of special points here. Um, and these are zeros of order n, right? So we have x minus 1 to the n, x plus 1 to the n. Uh, and then we're taking n derivatives of that, but but this form right here, just this just this breaking this up of uh, breaking this up or, or factoring it, so that we see the zeros at plus and minus one, tell us that plus and minus one are going to be the important points of this function right here. And really, what this is going to mean for us is that uh, the interval on which we care about this function is going to be minus one to one. So so minus one to one is going to be, uh, as we see here, naturally, the interval of interest for. Legendre polynomials. Um, so that, that and so that, that's a little bit of the intuition that you can get just ju just from looking at this form right here is that you know minus one to one are what we care about, um, and, and and we have these zeros here that we're we're taking the derivatives of. Um, okay, uh, so we have that. There, there's not a whole lot more that I can say about this. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure there's a whole lot more intuition to be gained from this. Uh, so let, let's go through and actually calculate this a few times. Uh, so that way we can kind of get a little bit of intuition for uh, what these Legendre polynomials actually look like uh, in practice. And so let's let's do that real quick. So uh, p sub 0, uh, let's start there. p sub 0 is easy. So 2 to the 0, 0 factorial, 0 derivative of a polynomial to the 0. That's going to be equal to 1. Uh, what about p sub 1? P sub 1 of x, that's going to be 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 1 over 1, then the first derivative of uh, this guy right here. Well, what's that going to be? That's d dx of x squared minus 1. That's going to be 2x. So this is just going to be equal to x. Okay. P2 of x. Now things get a little interesting. Uh, when we do this, we're going to have what? We're going to have 1 over uh, 2 squared. 2 factorial, so 2 cubed, um, and then we're going to have the second derivative, second derivative of x squared minus 1 squared, all right, so uh, what happens here? If we take one derivative, we pull down to 2 and then 2x, so we're going to have uh, x, or, or I guess we're going to have, what? we're going to have 1 over 2, because we'll pull down two twos, d dx of x times x squared minus 1. Then we take this, this second derivative. And what do we get? Well, we're going to have to do a product rule. Uh, we'll first have this term right here. So dif differentiate that guy. Keep that guy. We'll have x squared minus 1. Uh, then keep that guy the same. Differentiate that guy. That'll give us plus 
uh, 2x squared. Okay, and we can combine all this right here and we get that uh, this guy becomes 1 half times 3x squared minus 1. Okay, uh, you can keep doing this, doing it uh, more for, for higher and higher end. So for example, if you do it, if you do it all out for p sub 3, uh, what you get is 1 half times 5x cubed minus 3x. And, you know, keep, keep going, so on and so forth, you'll get, you know, higher and higher stuff. Um, but a couple observations to make about what we're seeing here uh, is this. One is that, well, what we're seeing is that even values of n, so it's like 0 and 2 right here, uh, those correspond to even polynomials. So here we have, you know, constant 1. Here we have uh, x squared minus 1. Uh, so that's also even. Um, and then for odd, odd, odd n, what we have is odd, odd order polynomials. So here, you know, x cubed minus um, x, just x. Uh, so we see that even n correspond to even functions, odd n correspond to odd functions. Uh, the other thing that we see is that the highest order of the polynomial uh, is n. So for p sub 3, the highest order term in the polynomial is uh, x cubed. For 2, it's x squared. 1, just x. Uh, so we can instantly tell the degree of the polynomial just from that value of n. So I, I, th I think I'll stop here. This is, this is just a brief introduction. Uh, in the next video, I'll look at another way of coming to Legendre polynomials, which is through a series representation. And in particular, uh, what I'm going to look at is uh, taking this definition up here that we've just been introduced to and using this to derive three separate series representations for Legendre polynomials. Uh, so I hope to see you in that video.